Hello and welcome to Flyman Dan Adventures. Today I'm headed deep into the backwaters of Tampa Bay. I found a pond off the grid that you can only get to with a kayak or a canoe, especially on low tide. There are places where I literally had to walk my kayak through the canals because it's so shallow. The targeted species for today are snook, tarpon, and uh, there'll be some ladyfish in the mix, and maybe a redfish or two will show up. Last time I was at this pond, uh, there was tarpon all around, but I couldn't get him to bite. And the first time I was out there, I hooked into three tarpon. Uh, two jumped off and one snapped me off like uh, it was nothing. So enjoy the ride through the mangrove tunnels on my way to this hidden treasure. All right, got finally got to my spot. I got tarpon rolling all over the place here. And I cast into the mangroves. I got my first bite. Tarpon, tarpon, tarpon. They eat, but they hardly hook. I'm trying to, if I feel the bite, give them a second to swallow it before I set the hook. Didn't work that time. <sighs> Skip like the other bait. Harping are frustrating. Find them. Find them that are eating, and you still just can't get a hook in the damn thing. Oh, man, I got to see the entire fish that time. They come tap tap and spit right on the edge of the shade. That's probably an eight to ten pounder. Whoa, that one got it. That one got it, I'm in the tree. Oh, the redfish, I see it. 
redfish wrapped me around the tree and uh oh man as soon as it hit the water pow never even twitched it redfish wrapped me around the tree and now he's got my diesel minnow man <laughs> you get a redfish that big under a tree you don't have great chances because redfish are so tight the shoulders you know you can't really turn them so i don't know what's biting over there maybe it's a redfish with uh, my lure in its face let's see if i can throw something at it tarpon rolling everywhere trying to get one to bite Tarpon are frustrating. You can see them, but doesn't mean they're eating. Tarpon have a, uh, a bladder with it, which allows them to come up and gulp air. So on low uh, oxygen levels, uh, they can survive. So you'll see them come up and grab uh, gulp some air. You'll see their back. You'll see their fins. You'll see their tails and. Uh, doesn't mean they're eating, but at least you know they're here. Well, my first bite, a little snook in the mouth of this little channel here. Well, second bite, I did lose that big L redfish under the trees. <sighs> Can't get the tarpon to eat. All right, we're gonna go uh, switch tactics, go up. Uh, I'm gonna throw a, an old 38 MRS mirror they don't make these anymore, but I used to catch a lot of fish on these. I got six hooks instead of the one uh, weedless hook that I just can't seem to get fish to bite. I'll get hooked on. They're biting it. Welcome to Golden Fishing Hacks and Tips. It's no secret that uh, a lure or a jig has better action when it has freedom of movement. Attaching a split ring on a plug will definitely give it more action. One of my favorite lures of all time is this little mirror lure 28 or 38. It has uh, great action in the water, but it does not have a split ring. To get maximum action out of it, you have to tie a loop knot. Well, I would rather just add my own split ring and uh, tie any knot I like. I like to tie a uni knot on all my lures. Lures like rattle traps and uh, little rapalas and deep diving plugs, even a Zara spook, has better action when it has a split ring. So get yourself a pair of split ring pliers. You'll probably get find them pretty cheap. And uh, then you get uh, some of these uh, stainless steel split rings and you get them to the size that fits your lure. Guaranteed you'll get more action and catch more fish. Almost no wind today. It's supposed to be almost no wind today. All right. Whoa. Decent little snook there. Oh well, they whacked the mirror lure pretty good. Oh, lady fish in the boat. I literally had to pull him out of the boat. Lady fish with uh, six hooks in them is not fun. No, you have to fall off for me.
<laughs> Big red fish. That's a big red fish. Whoa. <laughs> oh. That's a big red fish there. What am I gonna do with this big guy? Oh. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this big tank? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this big tank? Big red fish on a mirror lure. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Come on, just let at least just give me in the boat. In the boat, in the boat. I just let at least just give me in the boat. In the boat, in the boat. I just let at least just give me in the boat. In the boat, in the boat. Alright. I caught a fish today. <laughs> I caught a fish today. I caught a fish today. How about that? Good one too. Might be a keeper. Well, he definitely fits in the keeper category. Like a 25 inch redfish. Quick look at him. I'm gonna bring him home for dinner. I don't drop you in the water. Ah, redfish on a mirror alert.